What's going on, everyone? It's Marcellus back with another video. We got to go over Shiba Inu here today. As you can see, Shiba Inu right now at 0.00003299. We definitely have the possibility to go on another rise. I want to talk about why. But anyways, hit the like button and subscribe. It would really help the YouTube channel out immensely for the YouTube algorithm. Also, leave a comment in the comment section and let me know what you all want me to go over next. And also, if you want these automated trading indicators, definitely check out the Vital Algo link in the description and use the discount code Marcellus for 25% off. And let's get straight to the video. Now, first thing I want to talk about with Shiba Inu here, the 24-hour market control is actually in control by the bears by 100%. So it does show that it's 100% bearish but i do want to speak about a few things so supply and demand supply and demand that is one of the biggest thing that really it matters when you're talking about any kind of crypto or stocks supply and demand supply and demand what we got to talk about here is supply and demand of cbn so the green areas show areas of high supply and demand high supply high demand the red areas show less demand so let's talk about this like we have such a huge area of high demand like all the way from here from 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, all the way down here to 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0. That is a huge area of supply and demand. It's showing that there's lots of demand in this area, which means that we could be going on a bullish movement right now. The only reason why it's showing the 24-hour market control being controlled by the bull or yeah, the bears is because way back here, like right at the end of the day yesterday, that's when we started to go bearish. That's when we went all the way from the 3439 area all the way down to the 3271 area. So let's go over this. Shiba Inu presents three to one buying opportunity before Shiba breaks out. So they're saying that there's a possible breakout on the loose. Remember, though, I'm not a financial advisor. None of this is financial advice, but let's go over this. They say Shiba Inu price develops a significant bull reversal pattern. Participants have been consolidating in a tight range, feeling any breakout. So the anticipated target is near the all time high. Now, Shiba Inu price has been consolidating for the past 10 days, establishing a support zone near the 88.6% Fibonacci retracement at 00003200. So, Shiba is likely to continue coiling for a giant price spike. So, the direction of the spike being higher if the broader market can catch a bid. So, they're pretty much saying if the broader market of the crypto market can just continue to have a rise in price action, just continue to get these gains like how we've seen in the last hour then we could have a huge rise inside price with Shiba Inu, a huge spike. So they're saying, right, like, look at all of this. You see that everything kind of looks the same, but everything's down. The seven-day market is looking the same for each and every single coin here, except the stable coins, of course, and except for Dogecoin, because, you know, Dogecoin had the whole Elon Musk tweet, tweet. But still, they're saying pretty much if this whole broader market can see good gains for the next few days, we're going to see a nice spike inside Shiba Inu. But if we don't, and we see a flash crash again for Bitcoin, then we're going to see that as well in Shiba Inu and all the other cryptos. But over here, it says Shiba Inu price is positioning for a breakout that could see a 90% gain. So Shiba uh, 90% gain, that is huge. But yeah, Shiba, oh yeah, you also got to remember, y'all, like we are coming out with a game. We we have a lot of stuff going on with Shiba Inu. We're coming out with a whole metaverse game. That alone could send us like 100% plus. But anyways, let's keep going. Shiba Inu ha price has been stagnant for a while, frustrating many holders in the process. So the relative strength index on the daily chart has barely de deviated from the final oversold level in the bull market. So likewise, the composite index has sat in a neutral condition since the 5th of December. And pretty much they're saying we've been consolidating since then. Now, one of the most important things that you got to think with Shiba Inu is down here. So Shiba Inu price can only move one more zero below to 0, 0, 0, 0, 3, 0. if it prints another zero below that then pretty much they're saying the trade is invalidated and shiba will likely retest the 0, 0, 0, 0, 2, 0 level and what they mean by zero let's go back here pretty much what they mean by if it goes below another zero pretty much if we go from three zero down to two nine like if we go all the way down to two nine from three zero so pretty much if shiba inu goes all the way down here to this pretty much below our supply and demand area like i said earlier this is our heavy demand area for lots of demand so if we go below that area then we're pretty much going to see shiba inu having way less demand so you can get go on the downtrend so we cannot go below 2900 which is 000029 we can't go below that at all but it shows that we have lots of demand in this area right above it so we shouldn't even go down that low really so we got to think about the next thing that could possibly happen shiba inu price to provide buying opportunity before sheep breaks out so 
they're saying that there's going to be a buying opportunity. And what that means is that it's probably going to dip a little bit more. So they're saying a breakdown of the 000, the four zeros, two nine five area support for will invalidate this bullish thesis. And that's pretty much what they said previously. We can't go below two nine, but we may see a buying opportunity going down to the three zero area. Because as you can see, it stops right here, like right before it leaves three zero, this ends, the high demand ends. So if we hit three zero and we go below three zero, that means we're going to have a way less demand and we're going to have a huge spike downwards. But if we can stay above it and we get actually get above the 330 area, then we could actually you know rise with Shiba Inu. So let's go over it. So Shiba Inu price is hovering above the 000330 support level, con contemplating another retest. So this brief downswing could provide a buying opportunity before Shiba Kick starts a ascent all the way up to 4442, pretty much 000 0004422. Now, a breakdown of the 000295 support floor will invalidate the bullish thesis. So they're saying Shiba Inu price has witnessed a tight consolidation around a vital support level for roughly a week and a half. So this consolidating is in the final stages and might provide a bottom reversal pattern, triggering a small bull rally. So they're saying Shiba Inu price prepares for its launch. So Shiba Inu price has been retesting the 000330 support for, for roughly 11 days. We have been around here for a while. Now we're at 39 or 3298. But anyways, for now, Shiba Inu price needs another tap around Monday's swing low to complete this technical formation. So investors need to wait for a retest of 0000330 or Monday swing low at 315. A retest of either of these levels will kickstart Shiba Inu to 380 is pretty much what they're saying. So they're saying this will stop the buy stop and, ret and re resting above the liquidity pretty much. Now, while there may be a minor retracement around this level, like a minor retracement is down to 3-0. From 3-3 three, three down to 3-0, that will be the minor retracement that they're talking about. BTC, which is Bitcoin, will determine the next course of action, like I was saying before. So if we see Bitcoin in the overall broader crypto market starting to go down, that's going to tell us where we're going next. But right now, we're unsure because even for the last hour, we're up 0.4%. For the last 24 hours, we're only down 2%. And for the last seven days, we're only up to 0.2%. So it's like, we don't know necessarily know where we're going right now. But when Bitcoin shows us where we're going, it's not going to be good if it's if it's on the downtrend. So pretty much, if we see Bitcoin breaking below 46K, if we see Bitcoin leaving 47K and entering 46K and going anywhere below 46K, 45K Bitcoin is very, very bearish we do not need to see a 45k bitcoin if we see that we're going to see a huge downtrend and we're going to see it coming in fast but anyways we still got some good stuff for shiba inu if we can you know stay above that support floor but yeah pretty much over here if she gets sets a upswing high around 442 it will constitute a 33 percent gain from the support floor of 330 that's pretty much what they're talking about with the gains but you always have to think about the downtrend that could possibly happen, the bear market that could happen if we see Bitcoin continue to go down. So if we continue to see Bitcoin and the overall crypto market go down, this is what will happen to Shiba Inu. Shiba Inu's price will fail to hold above Monday's low if that happens, and it will send us down to 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0.000315. And that would indicate another drop and would constitute a drop all the way down to 0, 0, 0, 0, 0.000295 support floor. That's pretty much what they're saying. So... Hopefully, we don't break that. We need to keep going on the bullish area here with Shiba Inu. But, yeah, that, that's definitely something that we need to see. But right now, I think this might be a bear, a bull trap, not bear trap. I think this might be a bull trap because, I don't know, it's, it just kind of seems fishy how we had one little flash crash, and it started to go up, go up, started to go up, had another little crash, and then it started to go up, started to go up. But really, we had one big crash and then one little crash. So the next one will probably be a little one before we get another big one. I don't know. That's just what I think personally. But anyways, Shiba Inu is now at 1,066,510 people. So we got a good amount of people in Shiba Inu here. And yeah, let's just keep getting more and more people into Shiba Inu and let's keep growing. Anyways, this is all I got for you all today. Like, remember, I'm not a financial advisor. None of this financial advice. I don't want anyone to think I'm giving a financial advice out there. Don't just go dumping all your money in here because I said there is a chance. I would say there is about a 45% chance of us going on an uptrend and then continuing that uptrend. But the other 55% says that we're bearish. But anyways, I, I would say 40% chance. Let me take that down a little bit. 40% 40% chance that we want to upswing. But, I, but, you know, you just got to think about it. Like, we just now had multiple crashes. There's been a lot of flood in the crypto market. They've been talking a lot about 
you know, different crypto plans for America. And, you know, there's been a lot of talk about inflation, how this, how we're about to go in another recession. They've been talking a lot of FUD, fear, uncertainty, and doubt inside every form of way, even with the whole new variant. So we're probably not going to go on an uptrend anytime soon. Like if we do, it's going to be temporary. So yes, yes, we can, you know, randomly hit a 25% uptrend, but it might be temporary. It might have a bull trap here. But anyways, I'm not a financial advisor, not just financial advice. Hit the like button, subscribe. It really does help the YouTube channel out immensely for the YouTube algorithm. Also, leave a comment in the comment section and let me know what you all want me to go over next. And also, if you want to help support the channel, definitely go ahead and send a donation through the Cash Shop or PayPal donation link in the description. It'll be greatly appreciated. And also, if you want these automated trading indicators, definitely check out the Vital Algo link in the description and use the discount code Marcellus for 25% off. And as always, I'll be back with another video. Peace.